This afternoon, uh, start for the playing Fair Blue and Navy, number one in goal, Alan Julian, number five, Kenny Clark, number six, Max Cornhill, seven, Ryan Hayes, number eight, Lee Noble, eleven, Danny Harris, number fourteen, Matt Mitchell King, fifteen, Nathan Collier, nineteen, Matt Farm, twenty, We now invite you to join us all in a minute's silence in memory of those who fought and died in combat for this country. Odio is forever.
In the first number 11, Buddy Harris is the low fit number 9, Jason Fryer. Also in the pitch, number 15, Nathan Collier, who will be replaced by Uche Abunari.
goal scored in the uh, fourth minute of added time, number six, Max Cornell. Winning the league now, the FA Cup, are you uh, happy about that or is it a bit of a distraction for the league one? No, the FA Cup is a great competition to be involved in and for a club like us, you know, the financial rewards are, are very, very important. You know, I think that's £18,000 prize money and obviously the uh, half the gate as well, as well as a potential for more prize money and a, and a better gate in the in the second round. So, no, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good distraction. Of course, it is a distraction from the league, but it's a positive one and one we, uh, we enjoy and we look forward to. And hopefully we can make it through to that prestigious third round. Well, yeah, I was going to say, you know, because the history and tradition, you know, how important has been going to you, obviously, you're saying that, that that's not just for the team, but for the, for the whole club. It's massive for the club. Like I say, not, not only the financial benefits, but I think it can really sort of galvanise the city to get together and really get behind the lads, get behind the team. You've only got to look at the fact that we took 2,000 people to Sheffield United for the third round of two seasons ago, and you know it, it just it just shows how much the FA Cup means to people. And, um, now I know you don't like to look forward to matches in the league, and you don't look too far ahead. But um, who would you like in the next round, or is it? But to be honest, you know, I'd just like to focus on things that we can control and, and we can't control that draw tomorrow. So we'll just wait and see who we get and we'll look forward to it. Obviously, our home record is, is excellent and, you know, maybe you hope that you're first out of the hat and you, and you get picked out for a home draw. But to be honest, uh, as I said to the lads in there, we're on a great run of form at the moment and there's not many clubs that will uh, fancy drawing us out of the hat, that's for sure, particularly in the match. Absolutely. And uh, standout players today, uh, Will's your captain, got man of the match. Um, Glenn Wilson, uh, yeah. everybody I guess that today. To be honest, I think today was just a great team performance. Of, you know, squ squad performance that goes far as saying you know the lads that came on as well did well. So um, you know, we, I'm not one to single out players. You know, I think it's just a, a fantastic effort from all concerned. We had a game plan going into this week. Um, and we applied the game plan very, very well today and we took the game away from them in the first half and that's what you hope you can do. It certainly makes you feel a little bit more relaxed as a manager when you know you're three goals up. Um, and we haven't always done things the easy way this this term, but hopefully we can uh, continue to do that. That's great. Congratulations. Well done. Um, good luck next round. Thanks, Keenan. Cheers.